What's up everyone? Aslam Dutoy. Welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you what to post on social media so that you can get more leads, prospects and sales for your business. Let's check it out. What's up everyone? It's Aslam Dutoy. And welcome to the channel. If you have not subscribed as yet, be sure to hit that subscribe bell. I basically teach home business owners, network marketers, how to get leads and sales for their businesses and how to maximize their income opportunities online so that you have multiple streams of income. So today we're basically going to be covering how do you post or what do you post on social media to get more leads and sales for your business. Okay, one of the most common mistakes you see happening with network marketing, especially when people get started in a new business, think about it, what would they normally post? Okay, so if they're selling this bottle over here, they will basically go and post pictures of the bottle. If they're selling a supplement, they'll go and post pictures of, this, of the supplement or that product on their social media profiles. Okay, but the thing with that is there is not much engagement that takes place because at the end of the day, people aren't interested in products or services. People are interested in solutioning their own problems. So before you actually think about what to post on social media, one of the questions you first have to ask is who is the audience that I am trying to attract? Okay, you've got to be clear on who that target is audience, customer, uh, avatar, whatever you want to call it. You got to be clear on who that person is because the clearer you become on who the customer is, the better you will understand what to post because you then understand who that person is. Now you can put out the message that they would basically want to see and that they would basically respond to. Okay. So remember in network marketing, there are pretty much two ways or two types of audiences that you could be targeting. So you've got to be very, very clever and strategic about how you build up your social media profile. So if you are basically planning on, uh, you know, if you're promoting a network marketing opportunity that's uh, uh, in the health and wellness space, then you want to go and find people that are interested in health and wellness. OK, you'll go and connect with those types of people elsewhere on social media and you will then become friends with them, connect with them. Remember, it's a communication first before you can actually pitch someone. OK, I'm going to show you an example of exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to go onto my laptop in a little bit and I'll show you exactly the result of what I am speaking about. First, I want to explain to you the background or the just to give you the understanding, the foundation of how you need to approach this. First, you need to make sure that you're building an audience that will be interested in what it is you want to sell. Right. So number one, you could either be putting an audience together that's going to be buying your product. So if your product is, like I say, health and wellness, you want to be getting a product based audience, uh, you know, on your on your on your page or on your Facebook profile, whatever profile you're using, Instagram or whatever profile you're using. Right. The other part of network marketing is you're looking for business builders. Now, a business builder. And a product person, they could be one and the same in certain uh, instances. But in most instances, what happens is someone who's interested in building a business is not necessarily interested in losing weight. OK, they might be selling this weight loss product, but they actually have a different drive. They want to build a business. So uh, they are business builders. So who should you, who should you be looking for? Well, here's the thing, right? The best people to look for are other network marketers. OK, here's why most people get so many rejections when they approach people, because when you approach someone who has no interest in network marketing, what are they going to do? They're going to tell you it's a scam. It's a pyramid scheme. Uh, do those things really work? OK, they're going to be very negative about what it is that you are trying to sell them. Now, please don't misunderstand me. OK, I'm not suggesting that you should go out and blatantly try and recruit other network marketers into your business. I'm not saying that. OK, what I am saying is that if you build a connection with network marketers, guess what? At some point, some of them might become a bit unhappy 
with whatever company they are with. Guys, companies are always closing down in the network marketing space. People become disillusioned with the leaders that they are working with. People become disillusioned with the product. People are, are just have an, atten an attention deficit disorder. Why? Because they can't concentrate on one thing for, for such a long time, right? So most people jump around from deal to deal, opportunity to opportunity, okay? And what they are looking for more than anything, remember, they can, they can jump in with any leader or any uh, rep in any company. So you want to stand out as being different. I'll give you an example. I had a guy approach me on social media. He was already in the company that I'm currently in. And what he said to me was, I would love to sign up with you. Now, it was actually impossible for me to sign this person up because he was already in the business, but through someone else. And I said, well, it would have been great. But unfortunately, you're already part, you know, of, uh, of another team in the same company. Right. So that wasn't going to work. But why is it that that person asked me or said to me that they would like to join my team? It's because of the type of content that I put out. It's because of the type of persona that I'm putting out into the marketplace. So when you're trying to attract, okay, we're going to speak mostly about network marketers, right? How do you attract other network marketers? Okay, you show them how to grow their business, plain and simple. If you want to attract other network marketers to yourself, instead of telling them my deal is a lot better, Show them how to build a business. Show them how to build their business. That's the simple answer. Because if you give them some advice on how to build their businesses, guess what? Some of them might say, well, if that's what this person was able to share with me, and I'm not, I'm not even in their team, what will they be sharing with me when I do join their team? You see the mentality in that, right? So you've got to give a little bit first before you can get. So once you've become clear, you see, once you become clear on your audience, it becomes so much easier now for you to basically start engaging and having conversations with these people. It becomes a lot easier. Whereas if you go on to social media and now you only try to prospect these people without building the relationship first, they're going to ignore you. Guys, right now, as I do this video, there's a message sitting in my inbox where a guy has just randomly sent me a, a friend request and an inbox message. And I can already see up front that the guy wants to pitch me. Okay, he said, I've been watching your videos on YouTube and there's an opportunity I want to share with you. He has not even connected with me, right? And I get those messages all the time. <laughs> Often I, I tend to be a bit rude with some of those people because I don't believe in doing more than one network marketing company at a time. I believe in doing one and you do it well. Okay, so I know this works and I'm going to show you that this works. So. Uh, I'm going to show you actual posts on, or an actual post that I've done on social media that basically got me a ton of engagement from network marketers. I didn't pitch them my opportunity. In fact, I don't even mention my opportunity on any of my social media posts. So, uh, you know, back to the topic of what we're speaking about today, what to post on social media. Number one, be sure you are clear about who your target audience is. If you're in network marketing... I'm saying your perfect prospect is actually other network marketers. But once again, please understand me correctly. You need to build a relationship. All I'm saying is build a relationship with those people. Okay. First, build a relationship. Don't try and pitch them. I know some of them, you're going to friend them up. It happens all the time. They're going to try and pitch you. That's where you just be polite. And you say, look, I just want to connect with like-minded people. I'm, I can see that you're in whatever company you're in. Okay, but I'm quite happy where I am and I respect where you are. I just really wanted to connect with someone that uh, is on the same journey as me. That's all. Okay, then they they will be less likely to take offense. Okay, some some guys are, are not as polite. Okay, they'll still, still try and recruit you when people do that. I normally just block them. Okay, but some of them will connect with you and they'll be like, you know what? Can you show me what it is that you do? Okay. Because you want to create valuable posts that network marketers would be interested in. Now, let's speak about what are network marketers interested in. They are interested in how to build their business. They want to know how to get more leads and sales for their business. They are business builders. We're talking about the recruiters. So what do you need to give them if you want them to have a conversation with you? You need to give them information that's going to help them build their business. 
okay this is guys when i learned this it was it was like a it was like a mind shift for me okay because it made sense but at the same time i wasn't sure so how am i actually going to do this what am i actually going to do and when i eventually figured it out lead generation became easy conversations became easy that's how i ended up getting over more more than like a hundred people signing up with me in a very short space of time okay about 20 odd months and the teams exploded now to about two and a half thousand people why because i'm attracting the right people to me as opposed to going out and prospecting the wrong people okay so we're going to hop over onto the laptop i'm going to show you an example of a post that i did to attract specifically network marketers you see i, I was very specific with my post i knew who it is that I want to attract to me and who I wanted to have conversations with. Because what you put out is what you will ultimately attract. This is, this is very important. So if you want to attract the right people, you need to be putting out the right type of content. Okay, so let's go to the laptop and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm speaking about. Cool, so here we are. On, this is on my Facebook profile and this was posted sometime in November. So you can see here uh, on this post, right? I just put here how to create leads and sales on Instagram. Now, why did I put how to create leads and sales on Instagram? Once again, think about who your audience is. Think about who you're speaking to. This is why I said when you are clear about who your perfect audience is, who your perfect customer is, it's very, very easy to then attract them, okay? Because you'll know what it is that they want. What do they struggle with? So if you look at this, right, how to create leads and sales. If you think about it, what does every network marketer want? They want to know how to create leads and sales. In this case, I'm just going to show them how to do it on Instagram, okay? So yeah, I'm just saying, uh, so I'm attending a free training on how to create leads and sales on Instagram. And, I, and, and guys, you can always come and check out the post. It's quite a long post. But I'm getting into exactly, you know, what it is that the training is going to be about. Okay. And then I just put you just drop Insta and I'll hook you up to gain access to the training as well. So what am I doing here? Firstly, I'm speaking to the right person. I'm speaking to a network marketer who's on my profile, who's probably one of my friends on my profile. And I'm, I'm attracting them to come and have a look at something that I am uh, that I'm doing and that they might be interested in. Now, let's see how this post did, right? Now think about if you've ever put out a post related to a product, how much of engagement did you actually get on that type of post? Okay? But let's look at this one. Okay? 56 likes, that's fine, but look at that 116 comments. Okay? A whole bunch of people basically dropped the word Insta. Now, given some of these people Okay, are already in my team, but a bunch of them aren't, right? So a whole lot of people dropped over here, Insta, 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 right? Why? Because this is what people are interested in. You see, I'm very clear on what it is that I'm offering to a network marketer. So I'm offering the network marketer training on how to get leads and sales because that's what they want. So one of the rules in marketing is, Find out what your customer wants and then give that to them. Find out what your customer wants and then give that to them. Guys, that is the most important thing you will ever learn, you know, in your entire marketing career, right? If you can find out what it is that your customers are passionate about, what it is that keeps them up at night, what their pain points are, what it is that they desire, and think about what do network marketers desire? They want to rank up. They want to go to the next level. They want to hit the top rank in the company. They want to make more money. Okay. So you need to give them the tools. You need to give them the training that's going to help them achieve those goals. This is extremely important. Okay. So when you become clear, the message becomes easy. When you become clear on your audience, the message becomes easy. Whereas when you just put out the name of a company on your social media profile, think about it. No one's going to be interested in that, okay? People, uh, even, uh, even if you have other network marketers on your profile, they aren't interested. They won't even like or comment. Why? Because they're interested and they will like what they are selling, not what you are selling. They're not interested in your product. They are interested in their own product, 
okay? So what you need to offer them is something completely different. Guys, This these types of posts, this is not the only one I have. I have, I don't post them all the time, but I have multiple posts like this and they always generate a lot of conversation for me. I'm always then building relationships with these people. Why? Because they, they now want something that I have, okay? And I'm going to give it to them. So what do they need to do to get it? Because I didn't just put the information in the post. I kept some curiosity. So they have to reach out to me to get the information. What does that do? It creates a conversation between me and that person. Now it becomes a lot easier because remember this, guys, people will only buy from you when they know you, when they like you, and when they trust you. And the only way you can get yourself to the point where they know you, like you, and trust you is when you give them something that they want. When you offer them value and when you offer them solutions to their problems. Now, if you don't want to attract network marketers, that's fine. Okay. But then if you're going to be offering your product, if you want people to buy your product, then you need to be very clear about once again, who is your audience? Who are you? You're not speaking to everyone. You are not speaking to everyone, right? So if you have a weight loss product, does everyone want to lose weight? Surely we know that everyone should lose weight if they're overweight. But does every overweight person want to lose weight? The answer is no. So you need to then find the people that are interested in losing weight. And then instead of shoving down the product uh, on them, you are going to offer them something they want, which is more or less advice and education on how they can achieve their goals faster. And that will create more conversations with you for you. And that is what you basically post on social media. Okay, you post on social media what will interest your prospect the most and what will basically get them to want to engage with you. You need to get into the mind of your prospect and you need to fully understand their needs, their desires and put your own aside. I know you want to make money. Everyone wants to make money. But the only way to make money is by first providing value into the marketplace, providing solutions, and only then will you get the value that you are seeking. So guys, I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, just uh, you know, leave a comment, hit the like button, always appreciate it. It helps the video a lot. And I will see you guys on the next one.